I first remember James Weldon Johnson from my 10th grade English class. We had to memorize his poem, Creation. And God stepped out on space, and he looked around and said, I'm lonely, I'll make me a world. But most people know him from our hymn today. James Weldon Johnson was born in Jacksonville, Florida in 1871. His father was a freeborn Virginian, and his mother was from the Bahamas. His mother is said to be the first black public school teacher in Florida. She taught James and his brother music and reading, and she took them to the Methodist church where she served as the choir director and where the boys served as musicians. James Weldon Johnson was a high school principal. He founded a newspaper. He was the first African-American man to pass the bar in Florida. He served as the American consul to Venezuela and to Nicaragua. Most notably, he's remembered for his post as the executive secretary of the NAACP. He was a civil rights advocate, a writer, a composer, a politician, an educator, a lawyer, and one of the leading figures in the creation and development of the Harlem Renaissance. In 1900, James Weldon Johnson was asked to speak at a school in his hometown at an observance of a celebration of the birth of, Mar of Abraham Lincoln. Instead of a speech, he decided to write a poem. Then he decided at the last minute that it needed to be a song, so he asked his brother to compose the music. What resulted is what is now known as the Black National Anthem, Lift Every Voice and Sing. It's in our hymnal as number 519. As you listen to the words, notice the progression of the stanzas. It begins with praise and then moves to lament and finally to prayer. There are echoes of the Psalms in it, especially Psalm 130. While it's a powerful hymn for African Americans, it's also a hymn that speaks to all of us. It was forged in the fires of the struggle for freedom and refined in the flames of hope it's been said. It belongs to all who are true to our God and true to our native land. In this time of people crying out for justice and for change, I invite you to hear the words of this song. Give thanks for the influence of the Methodist Church on the life of the Johnson family and for the influence it has as it continues today. Say a prayer for all who struggle with the price of liberty and the chains of oppression. And above all, pray that we too may be kept forever on the path of faith in God. In the notes for this video, there's a link to an article about this song and the composer. Thanks to Stephanie for sharing our song today. Treading our 
path through the blood of the slaughter. Out from the gloomy past, till now we stand at last, where the white gleam of our night star is cast. God of our Our God, where we met, we blessed our hearts, drunk with the wine of the world, we forget thee. Shadow